Rates went up again yesterday, the ninth time since May. Inflation still stubborn, according to the Reserve Bank Governor, and there's more pain to come. The official cash rate is now 3.35%. It'll soon be nudging 4% and beyond, and your actual mortgage will probably a lot higher than that. Our business reporter Edward Boyd is in Sydney. He joins us now. There was a change of language, Ed, from the Governor yesterday. He's gone from being positive and kind of dovish to quite negative or, or hawkish in his outlook. Why? Yeah, it's all due to inflation and inflation not coming down as quickly as the Reserve Bank would like. So obviously inflation for December was 7.8%. Now, a dovish governor has the view that interest rates don't need to be too high, whereas a hawkish governor thinks we need to raise rates a lot more to bring inflation down. So Governor Lowe changed his sort of outlook on, on the economy yesterday and basically said, we need to keep lifting interest rates this year. We're concerned that inflation was 7.8% and it's only going to get to almost roughly just under 5% by the end of this year. So the Governor really... It was a bit of a change-up from Governor Lowe yesterday. We've had a lot of steady-as-she-goes statements from him over the last couple of years. But yesterday, it was, it was quite noticeable to see the difference. So the, the cash rate obviously went up 25 basis points yesterday. It's now at the highest level since September 2012. And the market's now pricing in the cash rate to peak at 3.8% this year. But there's a lot of economists that think it could be 4.1% within the next few months. So we're looking at a strong increase in rates still, Laura, over the next three, three to four months at least from the Reserve Bank of Australia. OK, so just how real is the risk of a shallow recession this year? Look, St George Bank think it's roughly a 30% risk that we might have a shallow recession, which is two negative quarters of GDP growth. So it, it only has to be minus 0.1 or 0.2% in those two quarters for it to be a recession. So it's not a it's a technical recession. It's not going to be a deep recession. But there's recessions forecast for other economies around the world. The United States is expected to fall into a shallow recession over the next couple of months. Um, UK and the Eurozone are sort of stagnating at the moment with their economic growth. So they've got a risk of falling into a narrow recession as well. And then you've got the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, which is trying to induce a recession into their economy because their governor is really concerned about inflation and it hasn't really been going down in New Zealand. It's been staying at around the 7% level for the whole last six months of last year. Mm. So he's trying to induce a recession. So there is a small chance that we might see a recession in Australia as well. Um, Anthony Albanese was actually asked about it this morning at Parliament House. Take a listen. I am very hopeful, uh, backed up by the comments itself of uh, the Reserve Bank and, and others, uh, that uh, inflation has peaked. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has seen a global spike in inflation and indeed in some of the advanced economies that reached double digits. So it hasn't reached that here but it clearly is having an impact. We're not immune from the impact of the global economy in today's interconnected world risks to our economy is the housing market and the number of Australians that are on fixed mortgages is about 800,000 of them worth $370 billion in loans. They're going to be going from a 2% roughly rate to probably 6% plus over the next 12 to 18 months. So that's going to be a very sharp increase in monthly repayments for a lot of Australians across the country. And that's one of the big concerns, Laura, for the Governor of the Reserve Bank for this year.